talk between Nebraska and Iowa this offseason? Do you see this as a big time rivalry now? Well, I mean, we're, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's still in the early stages, I guess. And I can't remember the first year. I think it was 11, right? I think that's the first year we started playing each other. So, you know, it's kind of like in the infant stages compared to some of the series that we've been involved in. Yet, historically, we've played. Uh, you know, the only good news is the last couple times out, at least the, you know, the field's been a little bit more level. But, uh, you know, we, we still got a long ways to go. And, but I think it all makes sense. It made sense at the start uh, when they joined, when Nebraska joined the Big Ten. Especially for us from a geographic uh, standpoint, it made sense that, uh, you know, we would have a chance maybe to, to get a game of interest and, uh, you know, it might be more than just a conference game, if you will. But, you know, th those things are in the making at all times. And it just, you know, hopefully with each year, uh, you know, it'll be, be a good game. Yeah, I mean, I, I uh, he, he said what he felt, and uh, you know, his his observations I think were pretty accurate. But the the, the bottom line is uh, whether it's uh, looking at three schools or, or 103, everybody everybody recruits a little bit differently. Everybody's got a different approach, and I'm, I'm not going to stand here and be judgmental and say ours is the best way. It certainly isn't. You know, we haven't won a recruiting award in the last. Uh, I know the last 18 years, uh, we've never finished in the top 10. But our, our goal still is to try to be a top 10 football team in, in uh, January. That's our goal, and it's really hard to do. So that's kind of where my focus is more on that. And, you know, we're, we're never going to be a glamour recruiting school. I mean, I just, I, I never say never, but at least I don't see in the next decade that happening. So our, our best bet is to just make sure we get the right guys, however we got to get them. If it takes two weeks or two, two years to get them. Uh, and then what's really important is what they do once they get there because it's, it's still about, you know, recruiting is a big interest point for a lot of people. It's become a sport and industry. But the game, you know, the sport I'm still most interested in is the one that gets played in the fall. So that, that's where our focus is. What, what can we do to develop our guys once we get them?